What is good friends, we are back with more Road to Top 10 and uh, today using a team made by Rob for the workshop in my Discord. So this team is really weak to packs, but thankfully my opponent doesn't have a packs. I played off screen quite a lot the other day. And yeah, I kinda ruined the GXE from this account. So he shows that he doesn't have pressure. Which means uh, he has static. And I don't wanna go for fake out and get paralyzed. So I think my play is going Tangros, knocking off his leftovers. Um, that's if he stays in. He could uh, go scissor here. He could go scissor or he could stay in and heat wave. I'm gonna try to think. I think Heatron covers all options. Covers the stay in and covers the scissor. Yup, yup, I'm the goat. So now um, I can just Lava Plume or Toxic here. I guess Lava Plume is overall the safest. Okay, I should have toxic So this is Pedeftron uh, with some speed. And yeah, thankfully we got that boost so it does a fuck ton. So he's Electrium is probably gonna do a fuck ton, but I should lift this. Um, so that's good, we get rid of Raptors early in the game, now low pony can click Faker and return and high jump kick without having to worry. Okay, I can click high jump kick, but I can click Faker and return without having to worry about getting parrot. I don't want to high jump kick into the ghost um, though. So I assume he's gonna get up his webs. If we get a burn here, I assume he's Sash, then you can kill him, that would be cool. Um, so he's gonna Thunder here, I kinda wanna go hard Landris, which uh, seems a bit risky, but... I want to make that play, predicting the thunder, and now I can just U-turn out with my Scarf Landris here. Mm, I could have also clicked off quick, but U-turn seems fine. Get some get some leftovers with my heat turn. Yeah, that seems fine. Uh, kind of invite his drill in, but I have defensive Scarf Lando for drill and Tangrowth. So I can just go to defensive Scarf Lando here. I mean, it's it has some attack investment. It's an interesting spread. I don't know what the spread exactly does. I didn't read the ex description for the team yet, but yeah, we can just defog here. Uh, to get rid of the webs, mainly. Like, I know he's gonna set rocks back up, but that's completely fine. Now I just go hard low pony here. Oh yeah, also I said earlier I can't high jump kick into the ghost, but this one has scrappy, so that's my bad. I completely forgot about that. So, uh, I assume he's gonna go hard scissor here. I don't know if high jump kick kills, so I'm gonna calc real quick. Uh, low pony. Uh, what's the Cephalon, right? Let's say his choice guy. High jump kick Okos. Okay, cool. So high jump kick is the play. As he goes top, Lily predicting that. So this Fallen's resisted, but Lily has bad defense, so they're still gonna do a good chunk. Nice. So uh, we don't have a good play here. I kind of want to set my Heatran. I kind of want to go Tangrels. I think second Heatran is fine. He goes for Moonblast. Now he could go for all out pummeling if he has that, or like Focus Blast. Uh, I think my play is just Toxicking. Kind of covers the Blacephalon since I minus one special attack. Uh, Earth Power wouldn't have done that much. So now I can probably go Greninja here. And we'll see if he specs or Scarf. I don't know why he would ever Psychic there. Nice. I look like a god now. So now um, we can get up a Spike to break the Sash from the Drill, which is really cool. So there might be Scarf, but since the terrain ended, um, I think I can just go for Warrior and kill this. Do I want my Warrior? I guess I want my Warrior. Hmm. I honestly don't need it, but it's cool to have, so I'm just gonna play it safe. Uh, it goes to Scizor. Yeah, Water Realm would have destroyed him, but this makes me also look like a god and keep my Water Realm. And yeah, goodbye, Scizor. So we should be. Um, I'm gonna show you guys my rank real quick. So, uh, 1646. I thought we should be 16, uh, 1660 ish now. Yeah, the, uh, the GX is only 80 now. I think it was 83 after the last video with Dennis. The win loss is just super garbage 39 and 11. Cause like I, I was testing a team the other day and it didn't go well and I also didn't sleep enough. So yeah, I'm kind of tired at, as well at the moment, but it should be good. Um, I'm going to show you guys the description about the team real quick. Um, I'm going to read it out. Actually, never mind. This description for the team is like kind of long. I don't want to read all this out, but this team just seems super solid, right? Um, it is weak. Yes, it is weak to. Toxapex for sure, but we'll see if we face one or no. And we don't lose to it because we have, like, we don't hard lose to it, which is really weak to it. Like, one option is PP stalling it, another option is power punch into return, hoping we don't get burned. But yeah, this trend doesn't have magma, so it can, like, trap packs. But right, we don't face a packs here. Um, this name seems familiar, I'm gonna check his rank. Well, yeah, Clefable looks really good in this matchup. His <laughs> Salaz looks a bit annoying for me, because um, it can toxic my Heatran. Or oh, if it's HP Grunt. 
Like that's what Salazar runs. It either runs Toxic for Tran and Pax or it runs HP Ground for to hit Heatran. Because he obviously wants some way to hit Heatran. So this guy is 1743. So we can get some points if you beat him, that would be cool. Okay, let's just leave with Galate. This gives me a free U-turn. Uh, if he goes to his land route, then I get information if he's um, Helmet. I assume he's Helmet because he made that play. No, he's not. Okay. So I can go low punny, bluff Ice Punch. And go for High Jump Kick, break the Nimigiana. That's a potential play. 8% um, means he's offensive, I assume. This is Bulky Scarf Lander, right? Yeah, it has some attack investment. Uh, yeah, I think he's. I assume he's Scarf. And yeah, if he's not Scarf and if he's Sky Strike, he has to fear the Ice Punch. So I really just want to go for High Jump Kick here. Um, kind of break the Nimigina. Like either a U turn to Nimigina if he's Scarf or a Heart Switch if he's not Scarf fearing the Ice Punch. He's not defensive from that damage, I would assume. I didn't calc, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, he's gonna go Megina, yep. And we do hit, amazing. So now we can just high jump. I really wanna predict the Lando here. Yeah, he's gonna go to Landris here, so. Uh, I'm gonna go Ninja, predicting the Lando. Damn, I'm so fire. And now we can get up a spike. Yeah, we can get up a spike here. I think it was Delmise. Uh, we can get HP fire this boy. So this is Warrim Greninja. It's just pretty cool because uh, you don't have to risk missing pump and it's a good nuke. Like versus stuff like uh, Magic Guard Clefable. You just have to get some chip I assume and then um, Hydro would kill them. The Hydro. So we're trapped now I think. That was a misplay. I didn't think that would do that little damage. He's AV for sure. Yeah I didn't think that one through. But now we do beat him when we want actually that's cool we're getting the spike back up here he, oh he makes the correct play and just spamming rapid spin good play good play so he gets a salazzle in and salazzle if it's not scarf does not beat me uh so i'm gonna scout for scarf sludge wave here and go to my heatran and maybe oh he was just trying to sack this i guess oh he was scarf toxic not sure about that oh well, yeah lava plume seems free well, he could stay in, but if he's toxic, he's probably not nasty. Plus, so he sacks his Delmise. Heatran being poison is annoying, but I don't necessarily need my Heatran for anything, so this is fine. Uh, Landris, he's probably gonna get rocks up. I think I can go into my own Landris. And then either Defog or u turn But yeah, my low pony goes in on him. So, what do I do? Um, I think I defog and if he's HPIs then I find out that he's... Okay, good. That worked out perfectly. I thought he would HPIs and weaken me and would kind of be annoying having land the weaken. But this works out perfectly. And we also see he changed that move so he's not Scarf. So maybe he was Scarf Toxic Salazzle. Because he did switch out on, on the trend. I mean, he didn't have much to hit the trend with probably, but besides Toxic. So it makes sense that he switched, but yeah. I'm not sure what else would be his Scarf. Uh, we will... I think he go. Like, if he's banded, he might just go for a crash. So I can go Heatran here. Okay, he does get me there with the knockoff play. Um, obviously, he just tried to get rid of Clef's lefties, I guess. Um, now I'm going to keep Heatran around. That's definitely banded damage. And yeah, we can just get up rocks here to hit the Salazzle and the Weavile. He's probably going to get up his rocks here. Um, I can... Go hard Greninja on the rocks and then fire off my Z Hydro Pump. I think that sounds good. If he attacks here, then it doesn't work and it kind of looks bad, but I think he's gonna go for rocks. Yep. And I, yeah, I just wanna fire off my Z move. I don't wanna risk missing. He does not have this attack anymore. So, Megina, okay, so HP Fire would have been better play. But I just didn't wanna risk missing, so. Just gonna pick this off with HP Fire. He's forced into either Weavile or uh, Salazzle if he's Scarf. So Weavile is probably gonna come out, I think, and uh, click Knock Off or Crash. I don't know if Crash would kill. He can also try to pursue me if he's Bandit. Because Greninja is a threat to his team, but that speed's 
these two if this is not Scar without all speeds dead. If I'm not mistaken, I might be mixing up speed tiers. But yeah, it would be cool to hit um, mid 700s and in this episode and be on the ladder, which is, let me see how high the you have to be to be on the ladder. Oh, you have to be 760, okay. I might not be able to do that this episode. I don't know how much time I have. Um, well, it's already late at night. I don't know how long I want to stay up. But yeah, Hedron is my sack here on the Galate. Galate has good speed death, so it makes sense that he went to it. Bulk up, wow, that's scary. That's really scary. So it's going to pick me up by some Drain Punch. Yep. Because since he had bulk up, I assumed he had Drain Punch. Now, this is actually a problem. I think I have to Moonblast here. I hope that I hope I don't get crit off Lynch by Zen or Psycho Cut. Should be able to live any one hit unless he has like poison jab. So he's wish Galade. I don't know why he would wish there because Moonlist obviously does a lot. But it's an interesting set to say the least. Um he What? Does he not have a move to hit me with? Well I'm gonna try to softball up. I assume he's gonna bulk up. Oh yes, Zen, well. Wow. That does nothing, but yeah, let's just Moonblast and hope he don't get flinched. Another play here would be Hard Greninja on the Zen. But in case he drains, I didn't want to risk that. Okay, we do not get flinched there. I had to skip turn because it's like risky. But yeah, Clever's gonna go down to pretty much whatever he wants to do here. I'm just gonna sack it. And I think my low ping can just clean the game, especially if his Salazar is not Scarf. So that's cool. But yeah, Kato used this team, not, no, no, Kato played versus Rob, and Rob used this team in a tiebreak for the Den Tour that we have at the moment, it's like SPL kinda, it's in the semifinals and it's in a tiebreaker, it's 1-1 at the moment, and yeah, Rob lost with this team, he couldn't like break Pax Clef, I think, but I don't think we're gonna phase that on the ladder, and if we're gonna phase that, the opponent is gonna misplay, or I'm gonna power punch into return, and just not get burned with my low pun, he versus Pax, I'm fine, I'm fine. Um, so Salazzle. I just sacked this. I don't know what I was waiting for. So Fire Blast. Yeah, if he Scarf, this is like scary. Uh, Cause I don't know how much Fire Blast would do to my Landro. So I'm gonna calc that real quick. I, I do have some HP on this Landro. So I might be able to take a Fire Blast. So Custom Set versus Salazzle. If he's Modest Scarf, he might actually be able to kill me. But I think Timon is probably not gonna be able to do it. Uh, Fire Blast does nothing, and if he's modest, yeah, even if he's modest, it doesn't kill. So my play is always Landris, and well, now I kind of have to predict. No, I just, I think I can edge. Oh, I don't have HP eyes on this wall. Yeah, I think I edge here, because it's like a mid ground. Um, it will also hit his Landris for some damage. Uh, damn, if I missed that, I would have been screwed. But yeah, thankfully we do hit, and yeah, we confirm that he's Choice Scarf Salazzle. And I think he was modest, because he was doing a lot. Yeah, he was modest and got a low roll. Now, can I Ice Shard here? I can HP Ice with his Lando. And I think my low pony just wins. Cool. Well, I don't know, Lando might be able to beat low pony when we won. Might be defensive Sky Strike or something. Wait, it was off confirmed offensive. So we are able to pick up the win here, which is pretty cool. Uh, getting closer to the 70 hearts. Yep, 1689. So the team is performing well, that's what I like to see. Did not expect that actually, because I'm super tired. Okay, so we get Dr. Heaven. Is this guy in my Discord? Um, he has Eric's avatar. But yeah, he has like a sol he has like a standard triad-ish looking team, but his GXE is awful. What? 68 GXE. Okay, if I lose to this guy, I'm quitting Mons. I'm just kidding. But yeah, I would assume that he's either gonna lead with Orlando, Caldio, or Coco. And Clefable leads off well with his most of those. Uh, looking at his team, I would assume Banta, Mega Scizor, Z move. Kelio or Scarf Kelio. Yeah, probably Shuka Coco Zim of Kelio. Um Scarf Defensive Lando. Spedef Farathon. Yeah, that would that's what I would think. He's also really weak to Magnuson, but I don't have a Magnuson unfortunately. Wait the timer is not on my mind is taking his sweet ass time. 
Uh, so unfortunately we get a bad lead matchup and he's gonna be able to vault on my uh, Tangrowth turn 1. I, I love Tangrowth a lot at the moment, it's not used that much, but the problem is in, like it can be kind of easy to take advantage of because it's, it's like a passive Mon. So I assume we see a U-turn come out here, could also have knockoff, which would be annoying. Yeah, he has knockoff, and now I lose my lefties. Um, so I can Toxic here. Well, I assume either Tita or Kelly is gonna come out. Yeah, yeah, I can Toxic here. It's just like a safe play. Because if I double, I'm not sure if I should predict the Tar or the Kelly. So I assume he's gonna pursue it. Um, he could also Stone Edge though. Stone Edge kinda destroys this team, but. Just in case he doesn't pursue, I'm gonna go hard land because I can live an edge. Has some bulk investment. Um, it's not gonna take it that well. It's probably gonna be like 55, 60 ish, maybe even a bit more. If he has ice punch, that would be horrible. Crunches. Okay, so I get to U turn or double here. I think I want to double on his landers. Slash Thorn. Um, I'm going to Greninja here. Pretty much covers all options. And uh, we can get up a spike. We can also go for extra sensory, um, expecting the Keldeo, but he stays in. If you. Okay, good. So he should really switch Keldeo, so I want to E sense, but it's ladder, so I'm not gonna predict. Like, like he, he has bad GXE, so I'm not gonna predict, is what I'm trying to say. So that does a lot. And. I wanna have the Hydro here, but. No, I really want an extra sensory to catch the Keldeo. Um, I don't have to make that play though, so he just sacks his Ferrothorn. That's really cool. Mm, Ferrothorn wasn't like super annoying for my team, but it's still nice to get rid of. Main threats are the band tar, but that's on a timer, so it's fine. The Coco is really annoying, and the Scissor is annoying. They just Volt turn around. Well, the Scissor seems to be knockoff, Roost, Bullet Punch. Last move, either SD or. Hmm. Yeah, pro I assume it's SD. Could be defog, but I assume defog is on a land, though that's most likely scarf. That would make more sense. So he volts in a scissor, I assume. Another option would be banter and going for edge or Lando. Lando and U-turn is a play for him into scissor. Yeah, that's actually a good play, Lando and U-turn. He could do that for sure if he wants to. But I assume he's just gonna go scissor based off his cheeks. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, he does actually make the Lano play, I like that play. If I had HP Fire, I would click it here because he's going to U-turn the Scizor, but I don't have that. So, I guess I go Clefable. Ah, uh, because Clefable has Magic Guard and that way I don't take any hazard damage, which is cool. U-turn is pretty obvious, I don't think he's going to do anything else. Yep. And now Scizor can still come out, or Coco can come out. Yeah, Coco is probably going to come out. I don't know. Koki's just gonna vault again. Like, I'm kinda like trapped in a vortex at the moment, which sucks. But at least I have a Magic Guard and a um, Regenerator Pokemon. So that don't take that much damage from this vault turn around stuff. So he goes Keldeo, which makes me think he's the water. I mean, that's actually what I was thinking the entire time. But yeah, I go. Yeah, he could Calm Mind here, so. He just Secret Swords, okay. So I'm gonna double on the Scissor here. Um, I want to double into Heatran. Well, it's a bit risky because he could stay in. Um, well, if I go Heatran, yeah, I go Heatran here. He could he could stay in if he really wants to. But yeah, we do catch him, and now um, I really want to off power because it hits the tar. Uh, I don't think he's ever gonna stay in here. He's either gonna go Kelt or Tar. Do I have a double, a good one? I'm gonna go Low Punny here. I could go Low Punny just to get my Mega off. That seems like a good play. If he stays in, um, he's awful. But yeah, we catch his T Tar. Now, um, well, he might go on a Landris. I'm just gonna Power Punch though. Because it's safe, and if he goes Scissor, it kind of forces him to Bullet Punch. He goes Landris. Um, I could see a U-turn into his scissor predicting return, or I could see an Earthquake. Uh, so he Scarf, I assume. I don't know if he Scarf makes the tag, that's the thing. 
If he's my threat, he can't kill me, and I would do how much to him? I would also not kill him. Well, I assume he's gonna U-turn. But just in case the earthquakes. Land resist the play. Yep. So now we have a free earthquake here. And he doesn't have a good switch in. Because Scissor is at 76 after spikes. But it probably still eats two earthquakes. Yeah, it eats them up with ease. So he's gonna roost. Uh, I guess I could have. Uh, maybe I should have just returned with a low punny. Because the land was quite obvious. But yeah, this time. Um, I think I can just go for off power or lava. Yeah, I can just go for off power. Because uh, either killed or Tar is gonna come out. And yeah, if Tar comes out, I'm gonna be able to tweet KO this. With off power, I wasn't sure if Lava Plume into off power gets the job done. But since we got that drop, I'm pretty sure Lava Plume is gonna kill from 11%. So we can go for that. Yep. And just in case he wanted to go land or down off power. So we got rid of one threat. Still have to watch out for Scissor. Scissor is a big problem because Matron is getting worn down. Yes, this is a big problem actually. Um, I'm kind of a fan of that knockoff set to get rid of lefties on Tren. So he's gonna Volt Switch. I could have actually gone hard land with that to prevent this T Bolt, okay. So this gives him Scissor. I kinda wanna double the Tren, but I also don't have that many switches to Tren. So what I could do is. Uh, I'm just on a Giga Drain, just in case he stays in, yeah. And we get paralyzed. So amazing. Now I have to go Lando here. He can double and predict that, but I kind of have to go Lando. <laughs> that power sucked a lot. At first, I was always, I was always, I almost doubled into Greninja there, predicting his scissor last turn, but thankfully I didn't do it. Now he's not choice. Wow, well, I thought he was specs. I should have run a calc. That's completely my fault. Com completely my fault. But yeah, now we should just be able to uh, click high jump kick here. The incoming scissor. Well, actually, doubling is the play into Greninja on the scissor. Uh, he goes Lando there, which is weird to me. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Fuck. So, this puts him in a shitty position. I should have called. I thought he was Spex Coco for some reason, but he wasn't. So, I think I just lose this now. Well, not just, but this is SD scissor, so I can't like let him set up or anything. I have to go hard Heatran. He goes for a knock, and yeah, my Heatran is basically dead now. Just gonna go Keldeo. Uh fuck. How do I prevent this from sweeping me? I don't think I can. I had to um I don't know. That is a bit different. Like doubling trend and rally was cool, but it let trend get too low. Maybe I should have defog with my scarf land though. Huh. Um I'm gonna go Clef here. Actually, that wasn't the play. Fuck. Well, I don't know if Tangros lives to. Tangros doesn't live to. Fuck. Yeah, I didn't miss. I didn't miss by there, but. Um. So I'm pretty sure that's Specs damage. Hmm. Let me go low punny and click return. Because this can still put in work for him. He shouldn't sack this, right? So I assume his land is gonna come out. If I had Ice Punch, I would click it, but I don't have it, unfortunately. Um, well, he really risked his scissor, um, which is a bad play, in my opinion. Um, not, not a big fan of that play. So I can go Greninja here on a Roost. Um, yeah, and I just HP fire. Well, I kind of want a hydro pump in case he tries to go landrus. I'm gonna do that. Oh, he, oh, he kills me. I didn't think I would die to that. Okay, so I just lose to this. Well, it's it's okay. So this was, this was a tough matchup to the like this was a big threat and I didn't play optimal around it. That's that's all I'm saying. Like this happens. Like I'm not gonna get too mad about it. But yeah, he did kind of try to choke on my opinion by going hard to this on low punny uh, maybe I should have high jump kick trying to catch his misplay uh, yeah you can say that I misplayed the bat a bit but yeah, we're gonna hit this guy with a GG um, we unfortunately lose points so we're not I mean you probably lose a lot of points because this guy was low on the ladder so yeah we're 1664 now 
Uh, that sucks. But yeah, this is just a perfectly fine uh, low pony lead. I could have also leveled Landris. He goes Gera. Um, I actually called like almost all the sets, and I even said the last guy is probably Shuka at preview. But then for some reason I thought he was Specs, and I didn't calc it. Yeah, I mess if I didn't mess that up. I mean, to be fair, what, did I, what would I have gone to on the Koko? I would have had to set my Tangrus because he parried me. I guess that you can say that para sucked a lot, but I think I would have lost the Scissor in the end anyway. And yeah, he did try to misplay with his Scissor. Like, I don't agree with how he played his Scissor. Like, hard Waterfalls, I didn't expect that. I just expected a Dragon Dance. Uh, but yeah, this gives me my Tangrus slash Clefable. Uh, I think the health on Clefable is a little bit more important because... Yeah, Clefable can check the Dragon Knight. Uh, I guess Tangrowth is important for the Manaphy, but yeah, that does nothing, and we have Regenerator, so this was the correct play. I think I can win this matchup relatively fine, like this should be fine. Uh, so my play here is either Heatran or... Yeah, it's Heatran. You could have Superpower, but it's okay. So now I'm just gonna attempt... Oh, I don't have rocks on this. I was gonna say attempt to get rocks up. Yeah, I can Toxic here. Well, I assume he's gonna either go Manaphy or go for Superpower. Uh, so I wanna go Tangros here, it's kind of a mid ground play. Focus Blast, okay, I did not see that one coming. So back in the heat <laughs> Um, This is a big threat to my team. How do I deal with this? I have to dodge a Focus Blast, but he predicts me and goes hard for it, so now he can afford to go for Air Slash. Oh my god, I didn't think he would have that. I thought he would have like superpower or something. Well, well, I think Lopan just comes out and clicks. I don't know if return kills. So I'm gonna have to cut this. I also forgot to change the song. I meant to change the song like after every game. Uh, yeah, like, I probably could have played the last game a bit better. I'm kind of disappointed. Okay, return this. I don't know if I cut correct, but yeah, tell him it makes sense on this. Um, so now, I think we see Dragon Knight or the Kartana come out here. Let me change the music real quick. Okay, so Brillum comes out. Um, either SD or Spore is his play. What one do I not need? Greninja kind of goes in. Well, if I let my Tangrowth get too low, then I'm weak to Manaphy, but I predicted the Spore, so I went to this. Now the HP Ice here. Um, he goes Manaphy on Tangrowth, which is odd. Uh, maybe he has sub series Slammer. Yeah, his play doesn't make any sense. So I guess we just got a weird opponent here. So I hope... I don't know what the fuck he's doing, but he just donated his Manaphy without doing any damage to me. I hope that we can uh, hit 1700 with winning this game. Um, Katana's a threat to this team, actually, wow. Usually you can pivot into Bulky Scarf Lando, but... Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do here, predicting an SD. Oh, he had Tailwind. I didn't even pay attention to Tailwind the last turn, so how active it was. I think it just ended. Um, but yeah, back in the Tangrowth here on the Leaf Blade, I assume. Knock off, okay. Well, I can just HP Ice, I guess. He's Life Orb, so he wears himself down. And yeah, but then ten minutes I beat this one we won. I don't really need Tangrus for anything, so yeah, I'm completely fine with this trade. Uh, but Tangrus being low for getting rid of Kartana, so now his Dragon Knight is gonna come out, I assume. Try to set up a DD. Uh, it could be weakness policy, but I can go Landris. U-turn and I don't know if E-Speed kills me. I U-turn in case he's the weakness policy, that's why I didn't HP ice. So I go Lando, I go back to Intimidate Shuffle and potentially waste his Sky Strike. So he just goes for Fire Punch. Okay, so I think Clefable should be able to beat this. Um, even if he has weakness policy, I have low punny to click Fake Out, so I think I have this game in the back now. If he has weakness policy, he, uh, he might not even be able to kill me. Yeah, he does have weakness policy. But yeah, it's not able to kill me, and Lopani should be uh, able to do it with Fake Out. Fake Out Sack, Fake Out Sack, Fake Out Sack should be able to do it. Or like Fake Out Sack, I only have two Sacks, because 
Well, I can try to go Tangrowth on a Bullet Seed, but... Rock Tomb, okay. So I should be able to live a hit. Um, HP Ice, and yeah, now I fake out, and I have all my sex still. Yeah, so I win. Good. So hopefully, like I said, we reach the 1700s. Goal would be at least 1750 after the episode. Better would be to get on ladder, which I think you need... I forgot how high you have to be, but I think you have to be like 770-ish. So he's not even able to kill my Tangro. So Tangro comes through here. Are we gonna get another one? And we are not able to hit... We're only 1680. Well, I thought we were a bit higher, but yeah, we lost the last game. 1683 now. Okay, so it's still a long way to go um, to mid 1700s. So, Trippy Red Fan. What is this? What is your GXE, my guy? So, Rabambi webs. Uh, I think Rabambi can't get flinched, so he can lead with that for sure. I forgot if Rabambi outspeeds Greninja. I have to check that real quick. 124 and I think Greninja is 120 something. I forgot. 122, so that's outspeed. Oh, I think he joined as a final lead, yeah. So we just lava plume and if we get a burn it would be cool because he's probably gonna webs up and afterwards he's gonna try to um, stun spars or something. Could also have HP ground, but usually you see webs and then like moonblast. Sometimes stun spore. I don't know what else the, uh, the other two slots would be if it's not stun spore. Um, a burn would be really nice here. You get a crit. I didn't want a crit. I just wanted a. Uh, I just wanted a burn. <laughs> it does have stun spore as I predicted, but I guess it will be fine. I mean, he can maybe has maybe he has sub on this or this. Then he can fish for paras. So yeah, there is the Zygarde as we're gonna go on a Landris here and. He Actually, defog, yeah, because I want to get rid of the web so my low pony outspeeds um, Coco and Superior. Yeah, yeah, defog is important actually. So I stand by going Lando over going uh, Tangros or Clef. Now, he, I always go Tangros on Coco, obviously, here. Yeah, this seems fine. Like, as the scissor um, knockoff was like the biggest problem I faced so far. And another problem would be Toxapex, like I said, but I haven't faced that. Because I talked about it, they can power punch and return, but then they can toxic me, they can regenerate a pivot out. So he is screens Coco, which is annoying. I'm gonna knock off the light clay, so the next time when he sets up screens. I assume he's light clay? Yep. So the next time he sets up screens, he does like last. Um, I guess I just knock off again here to try to get rid of an item. And if he has a Z move, then I get information. To what? Like whatever comes out here, I'll see. I'll either get rid of an item or I'll get rid of his. If he's Z move, I'll see that. So he has choice specs, and it's amazing to get rid of. Ah, uh, because now Greninja can come in. And I think I have to click Water Rium, because I don't want to risk missing. What is this? Don't burn me. That is a lot, even though I knocked off the specs. Yeah, uh, like Pump probably kills. But I don't want to mess around with this. Um, he could go Superior, which would suck. He goes Hard Coco. Okay, this is still going to do a good chunk, I feel like. Spike would have been a better play there, but... Yeah, I could have spiked there. So we go back to Tang. He's Volt, which is weird. Usually you see um, Reflect, Light Screen, U-Turn, uh, and Taunt on this type of Coco. I think, right? That's the standard set. Like, I have sc Screens HJ on my builder, but I never loaded up myself, so I don't even know if that's the set, but I think it is. So he makes a good play, predicts my Pharaoh, uh, my Tang. Mm -mm -mm. Surprised he Fire Blast earlier instead of predicting the Heat Chan. Well, maybe I need Tajan healthy for Superior, so this was risky. But since I'm kind of spadef, I would have been able to live a hit. Now, I want to Toxie here. Because I covers the Zygarde. Oh, fuck. Elf Power would have been the better play, but we do hit. Um, so he's going to Shadow Ball again. Uh, Greninja should be able to live that. Potential play here would also be Low Pony. I think Low Pony would have been a good play, but he fire less. Okay, so I'm glad that it didn't go Low Pony. And he gets a low roll there, it seems, because Elliot did way more. And yeah, now we can grab a spike. Uh, yeah, yeah, I want a spike up. <laughs> to chip his team, you can say it's the wrong play, but I can't stand by this. And yeah, we just get our mega here. Good power punch. Should be able to pick up the kill. It's funny how I said in the first game that I can't spam high jump kick. 
But yeah, obviously this has scrappy, so I can't. But I think I'm pretty sure I, um, I corrected myself. So it's Gooch. So Zygarde um, might have Protect, so I'm not gonna risk High Jump Kick. Because High Jump Kick can miss one, and two, he can also have Protect. And Return should be able to 2 8 KO him. Well, Lopan is useful as fuck in this game, so maybe switching is my better play. This is probably a call set. Oh. Well, high jump kick is probably the better play. Let me let me see. If high jump kick has a chance to kill, then it's the play. Well, my water just fell, but not, nothing happened. Like it fell down, but it's fine. It's fine. So Zygarde, uh, let's say sub dragon dance. High jump kick at plus one. Doesn't kill, so yeah, returns to play. Okay, so um, I don't want to lose my low bunny. And if I have my Tangrowth, yeah, yeah, I go Lando. Like Coco is not a threat because it only sets screens. Bishop is low, and Superior is fine as long as I have this around to outspeed Superior, and I also have my trend to check it. Right. Well, Lando outspeeds Superior as well, but I think Landris is to play here. Um, I assume that it's a C move Zygarde. Uh, either Groundium or Dragonium. Probably Groundium. Okay, it's Dragonium. For a second, I thought I looked like a god there. Because uh, Groundium is more common at the moment, but yeah, he was. Dragonium. Um, I'm just HPIs here. Uh, if Gideon kills, I can click that. I doubt it killed, so I'll just click HPIs. He's gonna outrage here. That does absolutely nothing. Maybe he's jolly? Oh, he's, no, he's not that attacking, but he's bulky here. Based off how well he took the return, I think he's bulky. I didn't calc it. Like, I calced it here how much it does was a bulky Zagat, but I didn't double check if he was bulky. So now we just uh, Giga Drain. Because. Uh, yeah, okay, he doesn't kick slide screen first. He predicted Earthquake. He gets some health back. Bishop comes out. Did I say earlier Bishop is weakened? Anyways, low bunny around means Bishop can't win. I can just sack this and... Wait, 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 wait. That did nothing. <laughs> this might have been the wrong play. I think that was a joke. I probably should have gone hard low pony. But I have fake out on low pony, so yeah, I can't lose this. I can't. Pretty sure I can't lose this at least. I miss I definitely misplayed there. But yeah, it's also 4 a.m. I'm not gonna make any excuses, right? That's completely like I do I know I misplay some sometimes, yeah. Uh, like H is one of my weaknesses, I kinda don't know how to play versus it some games. I mess up I tend to mess up. Well, I thought I already had it in the bag, but we should win this. And yeah, hopefully. Yeah, this one should definitely bring us into 700, right? This will be a longer episode. Uh, I don't know why he SD'd again, because now he dies to fake out. I think Fable is actually my sec. Because Tangrowth takes a hit from Superior and HP Isis it. Um, it doesn't matter. He can't rest if he has that. Like, I'm just going off random sets like Rest Bishop. It doesn't matter what I do, uh, if I say Clef or Tangos, I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter. Because I come in with low pony and click Fake Out, and then I click probably Return versus Superior. And if it's HP Ground, that means it's not HP Fire. So then if HP Ground kills my Heatran, then he cannot kill my Tangos. So yeah, we are in the 1700s, finally, it's lit. And yeah, at least 1750, like I said, is the goal this episode. Would be even better to be on the ladder. Okay, so this is a disgusting team from our opponent. I'm expecting... Um oh, is this guy in Den? I should not have loaded... Who is this guy? I should not have loaded this. He probably knows all my sets. Because if he says LOL, then he's in Den, which is my Discord. And then he knows... That I'm using this team that Rob posted there. Um, so this guy's 1800s with a shit GXE. So it would be cool to get his points. Hmm. 
The low pony lead is obvious. How he would lead Lando or Rotom versus low pony. I think Ranger has a good lead. Problem is he knows my um my set. But yeah, I can get up a spike here. His only hazard control is his I guess Rotom or Lando could be default. Yeah, I forgot about Rotom getting defuck this gen. So we go I think we go Clef and get our rocks up here. Um either Volt or Okay, I was expecting um, a defog, but he hard vaults, which is also a respectable play. Hmm. Go Tangrowth here, hopefully no Spectac- This might be Rocks. Moonblast. No Spectac drop, please? Nice. Okay, so I really want to knock off on the Chansey here, or on the Victini. And I'm gonna knock off on the Victini. So we now we see if he's Scarf Z or Bandit and he's Z move. Okay. So that's a threat for sure. Um Let me go under the Heatran here. Good play, good play. My guy doubles. Um so he could vault out into his DNC. Kinda wanna off power here. Uh but in case he defox. Toxic would be fine as well. I just don't want him to vault into the NC and bounce the Toxic back and have a wasted turn. So I guess Tangrowth is the mid ground. He just vaults. Uh, yeah, I could have off part because he probably would have vaulted into this. But he could also vault it into. If he knows my team, then he could have vaulted the Chansey as well. I don't know, is this Eric? The GXC is so bad, I doubt this would be Eric. It's 74 GXC. That would be weird if it's Eric. Um, Based off how. Knowledge that knowing that this is Z, this is probably Scarf. So U turn is gonna come out here. Um, I think I don't lose anything by going to my own Landris. That is the downside by if I use team that people in my Discord know, because there's a chance I get people from my Discord on ladder. Uh, I assume we're gonna see a Vault of Wisp, Defox. Okay, okay. So now. I knock again here. Um, maybe Earthquake would have been better to catch the Victini. The NCs. Wow, this guy is wild. Um, I'm just gonna Giga Drain. I know he's gonna pivot probably into Victini. Oh, Tangrowth, okay. I don't wanna lose my um, my AV. So I think I go Clef here and I Moonblast. Sludge Bombs, okay, okay. We can soft boiled. Well, if he has knockoff and sludge bomb, but she probably oh he's leftovers. Sleep out. So um that miss sucks. But yeah, we're gonna moonblast here because it does a lot to this. Oh it, never mind, it didn't do that much. So he's mixed defensive, I guess. We can call mind up here, and this actually kinda goes in versus his team if I call mind up. He doesn't have that much for it. So this is not looking too bad. Uh, I have to soft bolt. He could have endeavor, which would be annoying. Uh, Moonblast. Well, if he has Endeavor, he would have to be low at first. So I think I comment up more. So he gets a uh, Spatak drop, which is not a big deal. As long as he doesn't crit me, this is not a big deal. If he has Endeavor, then after. I would rather Moonblast, uh, I mean, comment up a lot. If, he's, if we would have stayed in, I would have, I think, preferred to go to plus 6. Uh, before I attack him, because if I attack him and he has endeavor, that would have been bad. But yeah, um, this is completely fine. I think this Clefairy kind of just solos his team. Um, a secondary. Uh, actually, I don't think another command is needed. Just soft bolt. I'll play it safe. We don't risk anything. Uh, soft bolt one more time, and now moon blast. Hopefully, no crits. I could rocks, but I don't think I need rocks. And if he goes, okay, he goes to this. If he goes to this, I go to plus six. Hmm. Thing is, I kind of want to rocks up, right? But I also don't want to. Um, actually, I'm rocking here. He's not going DNC this turn. Yep. And rocks are just nice to have. And if he wants to defog, then he with Rodan will attack a lot. Well, this will not. Might not. This might not be the play because at plus six, I don't know how much it does actually. Chancy versus. Fable, I assume he is a uh, fizz dev. So like, this might actually not be the optimal play. Uh, plus 6, Moonblast, only does 35 to 41. 
Hmm. What I could do here is go on a low punny and then power up punch. Uh, I could also frustrate or high jump kick. I think I go low punny and high jump kick. I think that's a good play actually. So we're gonna do that. Um, well, I don't know if that kills, but it should kill. Yeah, it's a roll in our favor. And I wanna cover him switching out, so I'm not gonna fake out. So hopefully we connect. That's my main uh, concern, missing the high jump kick. So yeah, he was definitely Scarf. Based off Victini being V and from the damage, also I think defensive would have lifted that for sure. Yeah. So now um, the NT might be able to lift this because of the intimidate. Rodom. Okay. So Rodom has to decide between defogging and wisping and vaulting. Huh. If I power punch, does high jump kick kill him next turn? Is the question. Well, if I get the play wrong and I get burned, that would suck. Because low pony does put in a lot of work. So I actually don't think it's worth it. Oh. Uh, Clefable is just so great in this game. So if he votes it, that would be sad. But I'm definitely... I assume... Exa exactly, exactly. I assume he's going to go for... Um, Defog. So he's definitely going to vault here. Um, I could go into my lander, but that's not really a point. Because then I'm forced to U-turn. And if he breaks that, then he can just... Um, Volt switch again. So Chansey is back. Um, I could see a pivot into his Yancey, or I could see him getting a Brox. I want to predict his pivot into Yancey and go for Moonblast. Damn, I'm so fucking good at this game. Sometimes, um, like, I still misplay, but some games I play so far. <laughs> so if he hasn't devil, okay, he forfeits. Lit, lit, lit. Okay, so we are able to get this one. And he was high on the ladder, so with 1727 now. Let's keep going. If I get like two more wins, um, then I would be completely fine to stop right there. Okay, so this guy, um, I know he uses stall sometimes, and now he uses veil. I've only played him when he was using stall. Um, and he was horrible with stall. But um, Landris should be okay as a lead. And we don't have, I forgot that we don't have um, HPIs, that's actually annoying as fuck. But he's probably Sash, so we break the Sash. And we can go into our Greninja and... Well, I really just want to click Hydro Pump to save the Z move. But I know I'm going to miss it, so we're just going to click the Z. If he's AV McGinner, then he can go to that, yes. But then we get up a Spike, and he goes Hard Zammer, so this is not going to enjoy taking this is it mega zen oh it might have been mega zen he said oh fuck i needed that okay so that was amazing that he said that um so he has nine tails what if you have what if i have gunk shot i don't know why nine tails is the counter i'm just gonna hp fight this for some good damage and get up a spike next round that did nothing so he gets up veil i get up a spike here he might have known this me um spike is yeah, Spike's fine hits like these three. So Como is... I'm uh, gonna have to be careful around Como. I've lost it a bit before. Not versus him, but versus a different player. So this might be weakness policy or Z-move. I assume Z-move is on Como. Or, yeah, weakness policy or Sugar are the other options. Um, Let me see. Let me see. One second. Okay, okay. Let me think. Uh... HP fire is not gonna do much, which is the problem. Well, Michael Feldman would be able to beat him one v one if he lacks flash can. I would have to scout for that. So his landers is probably Sash, right? Hmm. I'm not quite sure whether I should predict the explosion here and soft bolt, or if I predict the SD and go hard ninja. I'm actually feeling the hard ninja kind of. Uh, another option is Lando and Defog. Uh, and then defog. 
Yeah, I think I go Lando. So he does just hot explode. Uh, if I soft bullet there, would have been cool. But I didn't know if he wanted to SD or if he wanted to explode. So that's fine with me. Get the land out of the way. Still have one more rock switch in. Um, so Zygarde, Zygarde. This is probably Ayapapa or whatever this berry is called. Well, he still has a lot of whale turns, so... Mm, I think I have to default, right? These, there's a big threat. Uh, so I go Clefable now. I think I'm Moonblast. Wait, Moon, Moonblast bring him into range from the berry. I probably would. Fail versus I got. I don't know his spread, obviously. I'm just gonna go off this spread. Yeah, actually, you wouldn't bring him into range, so. He coiled. Um, so I'm pretty sure if he doesn't crit me, I eat this. Nice. So now I have to be careful around the combo stuff. Fuck. So he goes to this. He's gonna try to get his veil back. Um, he might try to kill me first. And I want Michael Fable around because I can block the Klingru Soul Blaze from the combo. Well, I should have. Maybe gone low pony there, because then I could have prevented him from getting up veil. Oh, so he's gonna get veil here. Fuck. Wait, he over predicted. What did he predict? I have no idea what he predicted there, but that was not the play. What? Why? Okay. <laughs> so GG. Yeah, I don't know. This guy plays really weird. Um, I just have to be careful around this. Um, he might. Hmm. Yeah, like Tron is good for the Megina, so I kind of want to sack him. So, me five. So that speeds me with joy. Does he have sub? Is my question. Ah, uh, well, I think I just toxic again. As long as I hit. Oh, yes, I do hit. So now. I can thank my Landris. Well, I kind of yeah, yeah. I'm thanking my Landris to CC. If he goes for a Z move, that's fine. Well, it's annoying, but it's fine because I have fake out thank and stuff. Yeah. So he CCs, and now um, I go the low punning click fake out. This should be fine, right? That does a lot. Does he even outspeed me? He does, he does. So I sack my Clefable here. Um, oh my god, so I look like a Don there. <laughs> like a Don Father. Did not predict that, I just wanted to sack it. And. You're gonna go Heatran on the. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I think he's gonna poison jab here, but. I don't want to go Heatran on a potential close come would I? Yeah, I don't. I, sh I could have gone Heatran on a... I knew he would do that, but like... Um, so Magina... I think I just... HP fire him. What if he's weakness policy though? Can he potentially win then? Uh... Yeah, if he's winning this policy, he might be able to win. He's not. He's not winning this policy. Gooch, gooch. I think we have this then. So, just HP fire. He lives and fake up kills. Good. Wait, he has pain. Okay, that's fine though. That's fine though, yeah. That, that doesn't matter. And yeah, I just click return or fake out. Doesn't matter. Well. Just gonna click fake out, I don't know, I'm scared about something. Yeah, this guy, I don't know what he's doing. So he was high on the ladder, I don't know how he was that high. <clears throat> I guess because he stalls a lot. Cool, we, uh, we're 1757 now. I guess that's a good place to end it, but I would get... 
I'd like to get one more win and be on the ladder. Yeah, we need one more win and then we would be on the ladder. So let's attempt to get that win. Let me change the music real quick and pause it. Well, I'm going to wait for the opponent and then change the music. But the team has been performing really well. It's taking forever to get a game, which is not a good sign. That probably means we will get someone from lower ladder. I don't want that. Let me restart the search. Okay, we got someone from 713. That's okay. Oh, Volcarona is a big threat. I'd have Toxic Trend, yes, but it could be HP Ground. Um, so my low point lead is obvious, right? Mm, I have Mew to deal with low pony. That's just annoying. If I had Encore Power Punch, this would have been cool versus Mew. Uh, I think Tangerus is like a good lead. Or Fable would be my other option. Hmm. Um, I think I guess Lando is a good lead as well. So now he should never stay in here and risk the edge. But this is the ladder, and these people like to misplay. So I'm gonna have to edge here. Um, U turn would have been better play. You do miss, but yeah, thankfully he didn't stay in, but getting information on his Landris was what I wanted, so that sucks. I assume he's Chess Scarf Lando, and he's probably gonna U-turn out here, uh, which kind of sucks. Knock off, okay. So that's annoying. I still think he's Scarf. There's still a chance that he Z-move, but um, I would expect the Z-move to be on the Kyurem. He gets up rocks, which is in my opinion a really bad play, because he has to defog for Vulcan Kyurem anyway. So Magnezon could come out here, i uh, just get some damage on that, maybe a attack drop, get a crit and a drop lit. So now, um, kind of want to just softball it, was not expecting that, I was expecting a volt switch, well, this should be Scarf, because Katana is a problem for his team, but I'm gonna go Tangrowth, because I don't want to let my Heatran. I don't want to. Yeah, I could have gone Heatran there, but this works out better. And I also don't want to let my Heatran take damage. Now, I could go Nikirim him here. And I really want to double into Low Pony Break in that. But then he can just go to Mew. Um, I have Clef for Mew, so that's not a big deal. I really want to break this Kyurem here, but I don't know how good this guy is. Uh, I think I'm going to do it. Low Pony on the Kyurem. Yep. Now, Mew has to come out, right? He doesn't want to lose his Kyurem. But I'm not gonna... I don't want to miss, though. So Mew Orlando is gonna come out here. So I think Clef is... Uh, do I go Ninja? I could go for Ninja and... Yeah, yeah, I could go for Ninja on his land. Okay, wow. Um, well, if he's... He's, he already changed that move, he's not Scarf. Which was weird, that confused me a lot that he wasn't Scarf. But yeah, I get up a spike here. I basically has that stack him. I should have seen Hydro, fuck. Fuck. Okay, thankfully I lived there. But yeah, I'm not gonna try to miss this. I'm just gonna get my kill with the Hydro. He sacks the Volk. Um, that's uh, nice. Obviously, I had to have trying to check it, but it's still always nice to get rid of it. So Magnezone comes out, which is a weird play. I can HP fire this for good damage. Might even kill him. Maybe he's AV. If he's not AV, this probably kills him. So he's AV, right? I think, at least. Um, so he flash cans. I can click Power Punch with my low punny here. Um, this is not looking too bad, actually. I think we can win this. So we Power Punch here. Well, Return probably was the better play. He's helmet, fuck. Um. Fuck. I need this around. This deals with the Kyurem. Well, Kyurem also gets checked by Clef after he uses the Z. Well, I'm gonna go into my Tangrowth here. And just in case he wants to knock me off, I'm gonna HP Ice to get rid of his Lando, as that doesn't kill well. I'm actually surprised that that doesn't kill, but you can get your drain here. Um, Hazard's being up, I was just gonna say, is amazing, but he defaults there, which makes his Kyurem a big threat, but he already took a round of rocks. Um, Mew comes out, uh, this, I guess this could be a setup Mew, which, with nasty plot. Uh, but I just knock off to get damage, yeah, this is nasty, but wow, how did I knew? How did I know? <laughs> I didn't mean to say new. 
But he has to rock polish draw speed my low pony. How much does Giga Drain do? Let me call it. If Giga Drain does more than I can go for that. I think I can win this, but it's ah oh, it's shaky. This one is a big threat. Oh you double lens. Yeah, Giga Drain is around the same. Yeah, I think I just get more damage because he's forced to rock polish. Uh, I think I have fake out sec, fake out sec to beat this, so I should be fine. No, my Tangros is still checking the DMC, but oh, do I need this? Well, I don't need my Heatran for much besides this, so I'm gonna go Heatran. I should have maybe gone hard Heatran earlier. So now, if he has Aura Sphere, he's probably gonna be able to kill me. Uh, we just lava plume here. He has Vacuum Head. Oh, okay, so we probably. Bring him into fake out range. We don't get the burn, um, but yeah, he has to use up his C to kill us here. Uh, now we can't fake him out because of the terrain. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Do I just lose then? Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> I should have toxic him. So I think I threw that game. Um. Fuck. If I had my AV still, maybe I had a shot. Pretty sure tank nothing takes a hit now. Yeah, nothing takes a hit now. Wow, that's crazy. I threw that game. Um, yeah, I thought he would uh, die to lava plume. Maybe talk. Yeah, toxic was the play then, and then toxic trend down. Then I would have sacked another mon, and then with Clef plus low bunny, I would have been able to win. But yeah, I think it's yeah, I choked this. So yeah, my unfortunate misplay there. Uh, means we have to. Well, I can run a cult, but I'm pretty sure I can't eat a plus to psychic into rain because I lost my AV and I have like psychic to rain is up and everything. He's a plus two, so ah, uh, this is really bad. That's 100% to tangles. <laughs> Why did he say T? Um, yeah, I don't have a play. I just lose. Really unfortunate. I had this game. <sighs> I think I had this game one if I didn't choke there. Uh, well, he still had a shot, but I would have been in fine position. Yeah, like I just forgot about um, Zemo setting up the terrain. Like I knew it sets up the terrain, but the second I um. Like I had this as already planned as if um, it doesn't set up the terrain and I thought I would be good to go with um, I didn't want to risk missing a toxic basically is what I'm trying to say that's why I didn't go for toxic with my heat train I saw lava plume into fake out as the play but yeah toxic was the play um, yeah just, just a misplay on my end happens, happens. Uh, really uh, sucks because I would have been <laughs> in the top 500. We could have ended the episode in peace, but now we have to keep uh, going pretty much because I don't want to end it uh, this early. Greninja seems like a really good lead versus him. It leads up well versus Ferrothon and versus Deancey. So um, I want to go hard for spikes breaking the switch. Well, but just in case he has protect, I'm, yeah, exactly, gonna hard HP fire and covers the protect and the feral thorn and... Well... Spike up here, Bob. I don't know why this is the play, if I had Ice Beam I could kill him, I could've broken his multi scale. So I really disagree with how he played that. But he's probably not that high on the ladder, I'll check his rank real quick. Um, that was just unfortunate, the last guy wasn't even that great. But yeah, that Z move set new set. I just misplayed around that. Okay, this guy is 1858. Wow. So if I win this, I got a lot of points. Which is what I want. Which is what I want. Ice Beam. Dragon Knight. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm gonna get my rocks up here. Bob. Back into a hard into tangles here. Oh, his default is most likely Landorus. I think Drain also gets Defog, yeah. So he CMs, this is scary as fuck. He's gonna Moonblast here, it's gonna hurt. Um, maybe off quick is my better play, if he does get a Spatek drop. <sighs> well, this doesn't matter. 
I just sack something, um, but just I think I'd sack my Tangrowth. Like it might have been useful to have, but I don't know. And I click uh, high jump kick with low punny here. I know I risk missing this way, and he just sacks his fire with him. Okay, cool. Like I could have also gone Gren, but I didn't want to waste my Z already. Like, if I go Gren, I also have to risk hitting Pump if I don't want to risk waste my Z. So he's gonna defog here, I'm pretty sure about that. He scarf U turns, wow. I thought he would scarf defog. Because he wants the hazards off. So now. Um, that does 14%. Well, I'm not sure if High Jump Kick kills. I think it does kill a plus one. Amazing, wow. So we should be able to win this pretty easily. And. Well, he's either gonna defog or U turn, right? I think my land risk covers everything he can do. He explodes as well. So, yeah, we should have this game locked up. Um, if he goes Greninja, I'm gonna go hard out into my own Greninja, breaking Water Shuriken. If he goes Dragonite, I think I just. Um, well, I think he's gonna try to predict my Earthquake or Dragonite and try to get a free setup opportunity. Never mind. Um, fuck, I don't need my Heatran though, so. If he has Earth Power, which he probably has, he's gonna go for it here. So we can predict that and go Landris. And even, oh, he, I mean, I'm sorry, but it doesn't matter because. But he, he got a defense boost, so. A U turn doesn't kill now. Fuck, I might have to Earthquake. I didn't want to let the Dragnet set up. That's what, that's like even why I made the U turn play. Thought he would try to get the D9 in for free, which is probably his plan, but he doesn't even go into Dragonite, which I don't understand at all. But yeah, we have to switch. I don't want to give him Ash form and lose to that. Actually, Lopony outspeeds Ash when I forgot. So there's a tie here. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay, it's okay. You just see pump here. If we win the tie, this might not kill him though. Probably should have like 65. Does kill, we get a crit. Now, um. The play here is either Ethan on a D Knight or Hardland. I think Hardland was the play. Damn, that last loss sucked. But yeah, we go low punny, fake out, and return, and we win. So GG, my guy. 1761, that's not on the ladder, right? It is not on the ladder by two points, and I really want to be on the ladder, so. You already know I'm making this episode longer, it's super late. <laughs> Let me change the music again. Oh, what is this? How to climb ladder. So he probably has some gay stall. Damn, this is nasty. I don't know if I can win this. Okay, um... I don't know what the fuck his trophies is gonna do. It looks like this is a toxic spam stall team. Um... Greninja's not great because he has a gastro. I don't want to play this. <laughs> the Pukumuku, um, oh, he just forfeits. He might have block is what I was going to say. Nice, so this brings us on the ladder. But I want to get another one because that kind of just wasn't the game. But yeah, we're 1779 now, which is on the ladder number I mean it's barely on the ladder is she? yeah number 423 okay we're gonna get one more nice I love how I just took my time and the guy just forfeited amazing we got another stall this is the guy that we just played um, I don't wanna do this to you guys uh, I don't know if I can win either ah uh, this is looking rough fuck I click command on his protect. He could knock off, yes. Uh, the thing is, oh, he does. He click knock off. Fuck me, dude. The problem I have is the Saptus has pressure, so I don't keep rocks off and on the field in the long run. Yeah, I don't know if I can win this. To be like, I just gotta be honest. Yeah, this is like a rough one. But this guy likes to choke. We saw um, he played his offense weird, and I also played him when he played his stall weird. Um, 
He's gonna go Swamp right here. I could Toxic or I could double. I'm gonna double the Tangrowth break in the Swamp bird. I just don't wanna let him get his rocks up. Mm -hmm. to, um, goes up to and try to default. It's like, I don't know, this is annoying and it's gonna take forever and I have to be patient and I don't have patience because it's almost 5 a.m. here. <laughs> so I don't know if I can win. Uh, he makes the head play of going zap. But yeah, we're gonna lock his left ease. I should have just moved as the save by tier 1, it's my fault. So we're gonna off quick. Um, Cause it covers the roost and covers the pack slash whatever he wants to go to. Well, I kind of want to knock off breaking the pack. Okay, he did, we do break that correct, nice. So now, um, I don't really know, I'm just gonna spam knock off. Oh yeah, that was obvious, but I thought you'd predict my off quick. Um, I forgot, what is his other move? Was it Heat Wave? It has to be Heat Wave for Katana. I went on a Heat Run, um, trying to catch him on a, on a Heat Wave. Well, if I'm him, I would not go for Heat Wave, because in fear of Heat Run. Unfortunately, my Heat Run is not Magma. Even if it was, I would get PP stored by save like Unless I get health pass by death drop. So yeah, this is rough. And I have to go call Fable here. Um, he turns leftovers, can never get knocked. It's too important for the PP stall game. So I assume Jirachi or Zapdos is gonna come out here. Um, I'm just gonna rock. Yep. And now, it's back in the heat run. But yeah, so either Zapdos or Swampert. Man, if I had Ice Beam or Greninja, I would double to it here. I'm gonna Toxic, breathing Zapdos. Ah, oh. oh, fuck. Please get paralyzed because I don't want to reveal that I have Toxic. Good. Now, I guess he's gonna get up T Spice because it hurts my team. If he has T-Spike, that means he doesn't have Toxic. So we knock off here. He lets me knock. Trying to Skull Burn, I assume? No, he just gets up T-Spike. Um. Hmm. Damn, I don't want to play this. <laughs> Dude, I should have just stalled the left guy, thankfully, for that with his weird star. Not like I can't win, but I have to be patient. And like I said, I don't know if I have that patience. Um, Zapdos is on me. Yep. Oh, that's bad. Let's go Clef so we can get this Judge Parade, which is something. But we also... I don't want to get my Tangles toxic, which is a problem. You know, I look like a Dawn there. So Pexos of Swampert should come out. Oh, Pexos of Swampert. Well, I can't really go Tangrowth anymore. Yeah, I wanted to Toxic, but in case he goes Pexa off part. Now he's gonna get his rocks up. I think he wants to force me to defog. So we'll let the rocks are not on his side. Oh, well, I probably have to let my Tangrowth get toxic Most likely gonna Jirachi here, but just in case he stays in. I know he has Wish Pass on Jirachi into Pearl. I played this guy before. But that just um, seems like a good play. We in the Pearl forcing him to Wish Pass. Well, if I go Heat Run, then he gets the Wish into Pearl that he wants. So. But that's, I guess I would have to cut um, Toxic if he does that. But he just doubles, which is a good play. I guess he also scald spams trying to catch my heat run double. I assume it's Jirachi in here. Uh, damn. But I don't want to 
double on this guy. He's playing weird Ishi. Like, I kind of want to double. I think CM is also a good one. No, it's just one left. I don't know, dude. <laughs> so I have to let my Tangles get toxic sooner or later, but at least I have region on my Tangles, so I can kind of switch between my Tangles and my Clef. But losing lefties on Clef sucked. So I should have definitely Moonbass to disable it turn 1 to at least punish him knocking my... I think. Another option would have also been uh, leading low punny to prevent his Sableye from megaing early, but uh, it doesn't really matter. Like, a bit like Sableye doesn't matter if it's megaed or not. Like my, sooner or later my Clef would have gotten knocked because Clef is my main switch into Sableye. Uh, I hope my net doesn't die. Uh, also a cool thing would be if his timer dies. Uh, I played this guy before when like a few hundred turns and he just timed out, which yeah. Cause um, he, like I kind of, both none of us could win. Like I had like balance and he had this and I could just switch around and he could switch around. And he just timed out. So I hope he just does the same, which would be cool. But he's probably also doing this to annoy me or maybe he's watching a movie. If I wasn't recording, um, that's what I would do. Just watch a movie and chill. He has rest. I didn't know that he has rest. I forgot about that. This is a pain to deal with, dude. I don't want to play this game at all. I already wasted it. No. Like, if I see him there, it would have been better, because Moonblast and Pia are kind of valuable, but... Yeah. don't really want to play this. I'm going to change up the music and pause it real quick. So we get some nice rival gliding. Um Okay, so if this guy's going to keep timer stalling, I'm just going to have to pause the video and uh, unpause it like 50 turns later, because it's not fun. He uses Zapdos. Um, I think the CM forces him to go into Clefable. I'm just gonna uh, into Jirachi or Clefable. I'm just gonna Moonblast in case he stays in. So he goes Pex. Yeah, oh, I forgot about Pex here. Yeah. So Pex was free for him actually. Yeah. I'm not gonna get anywhere with my Clefable because he has Jirachi and Pex and Unaware Clef. It's kind of just odd wall even if I set up CMs. So yeah, I'm just gonna go Heatron here since I'm Spadef Squad. It's not gonna do that much. Well, yeah, I'm kind of hungry, so this guy is just taking his sweet ass time and like there's nothing to think about Like if he just would hurry up, we would already be at like turn 60 now if this guy wouldn't take his time I'm gonna probably get some food and pause it in a, in a bit if this guy doesn't start playing fast <laughs> God, but yeah, I think I can definitely do this. I just have to be patient and if we win this I think we this guy's mid 1800s. I rather beat him already earlier when he was 1900s So if I can beat him that would be cool. Um To get in the top 400, yeah, he's 1847. He doesn't want to stay in here because um, if I'm magma train, oh yeah, he's swamp. I hope I get paralyzed just so I don't waste the PP. This is also another factor that could be cool in the PP store war later in the game that I'm paralyzed on this. Problem is he's getting up rocks soon with his perk. But I guess I can switch between Chengas and Clef. If only my Clef could have Lefty still. Yeah, I'm actually kind of okay with this. Um, how this life went. Besides that one game that I threw out the window. Was this is all? I maybe could have played a bit better, but I still think that was a hard matchup. Uh, and if we win this, we would hit the 1800s, which would be amazing. Um, yeah, we just gonna look at that because this guy is not moving his ass. If we, let's say we hit the 1800s, that would bring us. And do um, yeah, around 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 300 on the ladder. And top 10 is top 10 is 2009. Okay, so if I'm 1800s, I need 200 ish more points. That's doable for sure. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to let my Tangrus get. I think I'm gonna have to go Tangrus sooner or later. Anyway, so I'm gonna do it now. And off quick here in case he roosts. Because, yeah, wasting Zapdos roost is what I want, right? I don't think I could have prevented my Tangros from getting poisoned because my Defogger is Landris. And, yeah, T Spike has more PP than I have Defog PP. And I also do want Rocks up, kinda, so this is fine. Like, sooner or later, I had to go to this. So, yeah, we catch him there. There's absolutely nothing. We're gonna go call Fable here. Being toxic on this is great, so I can't get. And yeah, now we're gonna start switching. This is basically what I'm gonna do. Have to do. And the defogs. Um, yeah, we're just gonna keep switching because we don't wanna waste PP. PP 
management is really important if you want to beat stall. If you don't have a stall breaker, if you want to outlast stall, you need um, good PP management. So worst case, you at least can tie. Um, tie would be as we had to turn 1000, that's a new role that Shodan has. I don't think this guy has the patience to play 1000 turns. The last time I played him before, he like 200 turns in or something. Uh, and once I lost to him actually when I had awful matchup. This matchup is not that great, but I can definitely like... Thankfully I have Regen Tangrowth plus uh, Magic Guard Clef. So I can like some, somewhat PP stall him. But he has double Wish Pass, he has Heal Bell, he has Rest, he has recovery moves on every Pokemon, so... It's still tough. If he plays it out... Um, the best I can get is a tie, I think, if he plays it out, but I'm pretty sure that this guy's um, either gonna misplay or forfeit a few hundred turns in because he doesn't have the patience. Like, he's a choke master. Once, oh yeah, once this guy, <laughs> if I have the replay, I will um, show it at, uh, in the description or something. This guy was talking loud once. He was like, like half my team was like toxic and he had a rock sub, right? And he's like, you never win this matchup. Why are you playing this? Or something like that, right? <laughs> and then like five or ten turns later, I heavy slam with my Celestial as he stays in with Clef to sack it like a complete idiot. And when he has like everything like Zapdos and packs that can deal with my Steeler, so he just threw the game away. Basically, since I know that this guy, one, does not have the that much... What? He just roosted. That was a horrible play. <laughs> what? <laughs> so I'm just gonna knock off here in case he tries to discharge. To uh, catch Michael Fable. Basically, just changing out my plays. He heat waves, which I'm a bit surprised by. Thought he would discharge because it doesn't want to class. Um, hopefully, no discharge crit. That would be horrible. Good, good, good. Um, yeah, I kind of have to softball again. I know he could switch here, but I ne really need this healthy. I don't want to get too killed with this judge if I switch out and switch back in because yeah I need this to be able to switch in his outdoors which is why having lefties would be cool um, well I still have my spedestrian to also pivot around this also his timer is quite low which is a good sign um, now it's a 45 and in a few minutes I know how this guy works his timer is going to go down to like the 20 second range yep 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 <laughs> Um, so we're gonna go Heatran here. So we're just gonna discharge. But you have Lefty, so it's not a big deal. And now we go Tangrowth. Yeah, this is actually fine. This just doesn't do much to Heatran. Having that pivot to PP stall, and this also makes him not Heatwave that often. So if he Heatwaves into my turn, I get a boost, which does. I guess he doesn't care if I get a boost, because he knows I'm not Magma, so his packs can just wall my ass. Also, his Pert walls me. The stall team is really weird. I don't think it's that bad. It can be really weak to a specific Protein Greninja variants, I guess. And... What else is it weak to? I guess Hooper, but Hooper doesn't have counters unless you have Pursuit Trappers on stall. I don't know how you deal. And he just forfeits. So yeah, as I told you guys, he's either gonna misplay or forfeit, because I know how this guy works. So we are 1800s now, which is what we want. And I'm happy with this. I'm not happy with my win-loss. 48 and 13 is pretty trash. Um, I ruined this win loss, but yeah. So we are now number. Uh, I would assume number three hundred something on the ladder. There we are, number three hundred and seven. Okay, so in the next episode. Um, I'm not sure if, if I can keep doing this this smoothly and just um, go through and go make progress, but I think it should be okay. Basically, I'm gonna try to go to the high 1800s next episode. If it goes perfect, then we hit the 1900s in the next episode. That would be the dream. And after that, if everything goes perfect, like one or two more episodes to hit 2000 slash 2010, 2020, however much we need to have for top 10 well thank you guys for watching uh props to you if you watched the entire thing i know there was one or two games where i could have played different especially one with the mew i choked but it happens and it's 5 a.m <laughs> good, good, good good lord grave almighty but yeah peace out friends smash that like button if you want to see more daily road to top 10 and goodbye
most of the music channels are gonna be linked in the descriptions. It's like Glitch X City, um, one song was from Newmore, and the other songs were from Matt Houston. So yeah, shouts to all of them and goodbye. Shouts to Rob for the team. Um, he's he's pretty fire. And that's it. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with my outro, but yeah, goodbye, friends.